Hello everyone, my name is Ra and today I'll be trying to do the one city challenge as Japan. This is my fifth attempt of this, so hopefully I'm gonna win this time. We're playing on Deity Online Archipelago, small map and the dynamic ages because I haven't played those yet, so let's start. This is a small island, my god. Okay, so let's see the yields. The yields aren't bad, <laughs> though it doesn't have any tiles. Where are we gonna place districts? Though it could be on a peninsula maybe. Okay, I'm definitely gonna move. I'm gonna move on the bees and settle there. I'm gonna go for a monument and I'm gonna go on a rush of writing. I'm gonna place my campus here and then I'm gonna surround it with even more districts. So it's gonna be a plus six campus and we could boost it. So it's gonna give us like 12 signs per turn. It's insane. For the Pantheon, God of the Sea, plus one production for fishing boats. Now that we have writing, I'm gonna rush education for the universities and then chemistry for the research labs and then and industrialization for our unique building the electronics factory. We met the goals, we shared the island with them. For the first governor I was thinking about Liang, but I'm actually gonna go with Pingala just because he gives us extra culture and science. Just did a little detour to grab the harbor, we needed to make the sea suck less. Just look, 5 JCC bonus, that's insane. We can double that to 10 and we could also make the, that 10 gold into 10 production. We have met the Zulus and the world has entered the club era and we have gotten a golden age along with everyone else yay super special okay let's continue scouting I'm going to get the researcher promotion plus one science per population of the city my patented builder scout I'm rushing the mausoleum your eternal watch has ended for the first government I'm thinking about classical Republic it's a classic two economic cards and one vile card pretty good I really like the cards instead of the dedications it's basically the same just you can change them and I really like it so I'm going for cheaper builders more production plus two influence points with city states and commercial hub and harbors give science yay we got the Mausoleum of Heliconosis. This is insane. This wonder, and especially for us now, is like an S++ wonder. What does it do? It gives us plus one science, plus one culture, plus one fate for every C tile, and we have like 20 of those, so it's like 20 science, 20 fate, 20 culture. That's insane. And in addition, it gives us an additional uh, great engineer charge. Come on, just a little bit more. Yes! We circle navigated in the world with a galley. Ah, Shaka Zulu, how would you like a research alliance? Would you pay me for it? Would you give me more money? Let's make a deal. Oh, yes, we're friends for now. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Welcome to Waterworld. Just look at these yields. They're insane. The Muslim Heliconos with the fishing boats, with the fishing farms. It's insane. The yields are incredible. And this is a really nice city now. This isn't good. Shoot a crossbow and block the beaches with your bodies, warriors, and hold them back. Just look how good these trade routes are. 19 gold, 3 cents, 1 per action. Insane. We got a great admiral. And do you know what he does? He transforms into an ironclad. Boom! We have the most advanced unit on the planet now. So here you go, gals. Who's the technological backwater now? Crush them! For the second government, I went with Merchant Republic because I love gold. And it also has two economic and two wild card policies. And that's really nice. For the policies, I'm having trouble with growth. So I'm going with cards that give me amenities, science and production. God damn it, where are the scientific city states? I've searched the entire damn world and there's none of them. Actually, uh, I might have missed two city states. God damn pirates pillaging my tiles. Do you know how lazy I am now to divert my production and build a builder? Ugh, effort. Okay, crush them ironclad. Oh, come on, how did you survive? Come on, Archer, kill them. How did an Archer kill a caravel? Yay, we got the Venetian arsenal. Why did I build this? Because of the memes. If you fish potato McWhiskey, you'll know. And the other reason is, if you're lucky to spawn next to uranium, I can build a bunch of nuclear submarines and nuke everyone. So far, no luck with that plan. Being my fifth try, try of this, but hopefully cross my fingers. I got the spy. I think the spies will be like the trump card to winning this game. So let's start leveling them up. Yeah, steal the technological secrets from the Russians. <laughs> this is really good because I'm really behind in science. 
<laughs> I have the least science in the game, so this is actually catching me up slowly but surely. We're rigging the aid request. <laughs> Maybe now I can win a diplomatic victory. Just look how good this campus is. Plus 40 signs from this. This is like one of the best cities I ever made in this game. It's insane. Finally, a good great scientist. Plus 100% production towards the space race. This is really good because it speeds me up and slows my enemies down. Oh, the giant crossway. Oh no, this can mean only one thing. Oh my god, no. America is going into space. This great engineer is really good for us. I'm currently having problems with growth in my city, so he's really gonna help Kyoto grow to the big city on the map. I really want the Golden Age, so I'm promoting Pingala to his max promotion. And when you do that for the first time with your first governor, you get an error score. We're a democracy now. Hell yeah. We're a beacon of liberty and justice. For the policies, everything is the same except the spy card. It's really good and really important because I want to build a bunch of spies. We finished the spaceport, so now I can use this great scientist to rush to space. Now I'm gonna build the Royal Society so I can rush space projects with builders. We have stopped the Americans from going to space. Now we have to stop Shaka Zulu. Whoa, 10 turns. I would be scared, but it's inaccurate. Time to launch the Mars colony. Let's chunk, churn it out, builder, churn it out. Boom, we made Elon Musk happy. We have a Mars colony. Yes, now to launch the exoplanet expedition. Just plugging in the public works card, you need more builders. Aren't the spies the best? We have totally stopped the Americans from winning the space race. Now we have to stop Shaka Zulu. He only needs the exoplanet expedition to win and he's like repairing those campuses faster than I can pillage them. So it's really gonna be very close. We're one turn until the exoplanet expedition. So this builder should be it. Boom, we do have it. Sadly, Shaka Zulu already launched his. So he's like a couple of turns ahead of us and even though he's ahead in science and probably already has the, the, the laser boosters and he's already doing them but I'm confident we're gonna win and that is because I have a secret ace up my sleeve and that is the International Space Station. Hopefully we can win that. America, find a different city state. Singapore's mine. <laughs> Let's see how's the International Space Station going. Oh, we're winning, but you never know with the AI. They can magically get like 500 points out of nowhere. We have reached the final government, synthetic theocracy. But sadly, it's useless for us. But now we can say that the Japanese are cultured people. For the policies, they're basically just policies that are good in the late game, that basically win more policies. They aren't gonna really help us because we're just now waiting and pray praying that we win. <laughs> ah, he's so close, I'm so nervous. Come on, please win the International Space Station. We, we, yes, we won the Space Station. Yes, this gave us plus three light years and we were at eight, so now we are at four. So like four or five turns, we're gonna win the game. Yes. So basically next turn, either he wins or I win. Come on, please, 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 God, God, please. Come on, come on, come on. We did it and here's the achievement. Yes, finally, the fifth game. Fifth times the charm. <laughs> My god, sadly I never got the uranium to like win a domination victory in a nuke everyone, so that's sad. But we saw this another time, so let's go. Ah, uh, we won a science victory, so let's like our rankings. Nero, wow, <laughs> our score is horrible. For the end, just look, look at this. I found like, uh, <laughs> I found like a YouTube video that went through all the Civ like easter eggs. And if you like shake your screen with a uh, ski resort, it like becomes a sn snow globe. Hopefully you liked the video, if you did, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.